the beloved cocaine rabbit is defending himself on the Twitter sphere. So recently, um, t- Freddie Gibbs posted this video of this hotel clerk going wild. You know, he had a bad day, you know what I'm saying? And everybody's trying to say, oh, oh, mental health issues. Somebody's bringing in mental health to this situation. Everybody's going to label something against Freddie uh, Gibbs and say he was in- inconsiderate. Um, this guy posts way worse shit. He posts crackheads naked running into a fucking thing. He posts, like, naked girls fighting in the middle of the street or some shit. Real post like some crackheads like fucking hitting their head against a car and then getting knocked out freddie gibbs is no filter and that's what people should have no filter and um any anybody like like i don't need to hear an essay on the guy's personal problems like the guy who tri- tripped out in that video um like i just you know and you know i think the best part is gives his non-forgiving energy to this he said cry me a river bitch that's what he said on twitter and he's like and this is my favorite part he said um i'll post i'll I'll talk about two tweets i posted a group of naked bitches fighting and ain't none of y'all check on their mental health (laughs) yeah i mean and i love pissing uh fake woke twitter off y'all never do shit in real real life yeah like like, and the the, he get everybody's getting mad because he's like i just hope this white boy don't have a gun and every and everybody's like, oh, you gotta, you, you, everybody, sh- the, the guy h- filming should have helped him instead of, don't. What the fuck was he supposed to do? Was he supposed to like hug him and be like, I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna help you pull through? He doesn't know this first and first off, he's just trying to get like a fucking room or whatever he's doing. He's work like he's at a hotel expecting to get some shit done. Like I feel like the best thing that anybody could have done in that situation in the video could just like fucking the guy getting angry just fucking walked away and just let some other fucking hotel person done that shit if he was having a fucking bad day you know what i'm saying god damn what the fuck everybody's like oh, uh, uh, like imagine like imagine this scenario where everybody like fucking hugs the hotel thing and everybody like you know get, takes their clothes off and they're all wearing like fucking g-strings and thongs like that's that's what i think everybody thinks gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> i think the reason he mentioned um I love shitting on fake woke Twitter. Y'all never do anything anyways. Is because, like, you know, the woke people on Instagram and Twitter, all they do is post shit to their story and think that's activism when they're really just, like, I don't care about what they're being active about. You could be active about whatever the fuck you want. You could be active about, you could be active about eating turtles. I don't give a fuck. You can be active about whatever you want. But if you think that being active is just posting shit to your story, like these fucking white bitches posting impact shit to their story, like, no, that's not activism. You know, um, there's so much more you could be doing. And also all these people that think that they're woke and active have no money to support anything. So like the real active people are the people who are like anonymously donating to charities, but they don't fucking post about themselves donating to charities because they're not fucking degenerates. Like, like, oh my God, I'm going to post on my story and be active. I'm, I'm supporting the cause. Yeah. Why don't you do that? Like, but, but actually support the cause and like, fucking posting shit to your story is not supporting the cause it's just you giving an excuse to being lazy like if someone asks what have you done to support this cause they'd be like i posted my story dude that person would fucking laugh at you that asked what would you be doing so once again freddie gibbs dropping some truth bombs i don't and this is another great freddie gibbs quote i don't tell grown men to shut up unless i plan on knocking their teeth out who's (laughs) dude that's the energy you need to have okay uh, you know, um, and everybody's like, I'm not, I'm not a fan anymore. I'm not a fan anymore. Oh my God. Are you serious? Have you listened to his, like, any, and he's on Twitter. He's like, who's next? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the energy we need to have. Like, if you say something, don't take it back. Everybody's like, I'm going to take it back. I'm going to have a public apology. Uh, <laughs> I need a public apology. I need a public like oh my god dude i fucking hate twitter this is why like i barely the only thing i post on twitter is links this is why i hate most social media accounts the only reason i have tiktok is to literally post links to all my shit i don't like the app i fucking hate the app the app is literally one of the shittiest like i hate short form content um but you can find me on twitter three dollars i mean tw- tiktok at three dollars but, but anyways yeah dude this is just freddie gibbs being freddie gibbs and i don't think anybody should hate on him i feel like people should hate on the people hating on him i don't think people should hate anybody i just feel like people should tell the people that are hating on him to like 
hey, uh, he does this shit all the time. You know what I mean? You're just like now getting mad at it and shit. And if anybody stops listening to Freddie Gibbs music because of that, you're a fucking pussy. End of video.